But when we lose the spiritual battle, we always deal with it in the physical. We always deal with it outside. Anybody married longer than a week knows this. Moments where you have that temptation to get an argument with your spouse. You know, remind them of their past, their, their weaknesses, to try to tear them down. If we lose the battle inside, in the heart, then it will manifest outside. Hey, welcome to the video. I appreciate you taking the time to be with me. You know, when I started this battle ready effort, this mission, several years ago, many years ago now, the goal behind it was to really help wake up that fighting spirit inside of as many people as possible. Wake them up to the reality of the battle. What battle am I talking about? I'm talking about the battle between good and evil, okay? And it's not just the spiritual battle. That is the root of it. St. Paul talks about this in Ephesians when he reminds us that our battle is not against flesh and blood, but against the principalities of darkness, against the wicked rulers of the heavenly realms. So yeah, that spiritual battle, that's the root of it all. That's where everything begins. We also have to realize that this battle manifests in physical as well. So the idea behind Battle Ready, to be more aware of, prepared for, and engaged in the battle, covers body, mind, and soul, not just the spiritual. I wanna explain this, because what I mean by that is, it's very easy for people to think that it's just a spiritual battle and that's, that's all that it is. But when we lose the spiritual battle, we always deal with it in the physical. We always deal with it outside. Anybody married longer than a week knows this. Moments where you have that temptation to get an argument with your spouse and you, you get the temptation to, to raise your voice. You get the temptation to just you know, remind them of their past, their, their weaknesses, to try to tear them down. You have the moments in the heart where you just want to get back and say just that one thing, or maybe it's going to escalate to something even worse. The temptation to, to yell, scream, raise a voice, slam a door, or worse. Well, if we lose the battle inside, in the heart, if we lose that battle first there, then it will manifest outside with the harsh words, with the harsh action. And there are many other examples we can give of how we have to battle certain things inside the heart, certain temptations, pride, greed, lust, envy, jealousy, you name it. It can lead to all sorts of sins that we act upon if we don't win those battles inside. So we have to realize that this battle that we're in, and the need to be battle ready, is not just about the spiritual, but it is about dealing with the physical at times. Now that being said, I'm gonna be doing more videos on this, trying to break this down more in detail. But with this video here, I wanna talk about the number one most important aspect to help us be battle ready. And that is prayer. Without prayer, we have nothing to stand on. Without a prayer life, we are weak on the battlefield. The great saints have said it. Those who pray are saved, those who don't pray are lost. Prayer to the soul is like water to the body. And of all the ways that the Holy Spirit inspires us to pray, there is one way that carries a power that is unmatched, and that is the rosary. Now some of you grew up with this, your grandmother taught you this, you, 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 you learned it when you were a kid in grade school, Catholic grade school there, to pray the rosary. Some say it's boring, I have 15 to 20 minutes, I don't have time for that sort of thing. We got time for many other things in this world, but 15 to 20 minutes is all this rosary takes to pray. There's a lot we can say about the rosary, about how to pray the rosary, and there's a lot of information out there about how to pray the rosary. But I want to key on a couple things just that are very personal to me. Number one, I don't always enjoy it. Right? And a lot of people might misunderstand that. I don't always enjoy praying the rosary. In fact, it's the times that we don't enjoy praying the rosary that it really can become more efficacious, more fruitful, more meritorious. Because we're doing it because we know it's important. We know it's critical. We know it's, it's, it's powerful. We don't do it because it feels good. When it comes to anything in life, if we only do it because we're excited to do it, we're never going to really grow from it. We're never really going to benefit from it like we really could. When it comes to working out, exercising, face it, a lot of people, they don't feel like doing this. They just flat out don't do it. Same idea with prayer, especially the rosary. This takes time. It takes a certain degree of concentration and effort. I'll put some links down below of some resources that'll help when it comes to praying the rosary, learning more about it. But I gotta say again, for me, praying the rosary is not always easy and I don't always enjoy it. So I wanna encourage you, no matter how difficult you find it, try to persevere through it. No matter how dry you may feel when you're praying it, keep praying it anyway. Second thing I wanna point out is, this particular rosary, I love this rosary. This is the Warrior's Rosary. Now this version here is a paracord rosary. It is a uh, hundred pound paracord, uh, good strong, good strong weight. This, you have a lot of rosaries break in your pocket. This one does not. I love the wood beads on it here. The metals are fantastic. I'm not gonna go into too much detail on the metals. Uh, I'm gonna link to a video again below here. You can check this out, thewarriorsrosary.com is the website you wanna go to. Got it back here on the monitor, right here. 
The Warrior's Rosary right here off of my website, BattleReadyStrong.com. You'll see it in the rotating banner at BattleReadyStrong.com. Another version of that is this hematite version. This is eight millimeter hematite. It comes in different size, six millimeter, eight hit millimeter, different colors. There are versions that are geared more towards men and some geared more towards women. You gotta go to the website and check it out. There's a variety of other things on the website, thewarriorsrosary.com. It's a great website put together by a great guy, a great Catholic man, Tom Sullivan. And you'll see the link below. You know, if you're a follower of Battle Ready, you've been paying attention to the work we've been doing over the years, uh, through our Facebook page, our YouTube channel, our website, uh, maybe you're signed up for our, our email list, which you can do through our website, battlereadystrong.com. If you follow this and you get this, then you're part of the team. You're part of Team Battle Ready. You are in the thick of this together. Your comments help. And I appreciate it very much. Don't forget the warriorsrosary.com. You're gonna love that site. You're gonna love this rosary. Please like this video, share this video, and subscribe to this channel if you have not done so yet. I appreciate you being with me and I look forward to bringing you more battle-ready material in the future. Every day, body, mind, and soul, be battle-ready.